flakes outside this morning. It's chilly outside. We've established that, but there's going to be a warm welcome for the UB men's and women's teams as they arrive back in Buffalo. Matt Bovee has been with the team over the weekend, and he's out there right now live. Andy, you've got that right. What a great season for UB men's and women's basketball, both accomplishing feats they've never reached before. And as you mentioned today, they will both be welcomed back to right here at Alumni Arena for a party to celebrate the historic seasons for both teams. Now, specifically the men, they were in Columbus these last couple days. Myself, along with Sean Stepner, were with them. We talked to fans as they got ready for their first ever trip to the NCAA tournament. Tournament. Now, unfortunately, they did lose 68-62 to the West Virginia Mountaineers in their second round game on Friday. But the fans we spoke with after the game, after the loss, said that this team had a historic run and that this team should be back next year when you consider how much raw talent the roster still has. It takes, it takes one one spark to get the flame going, you know, and, uh, and I think definitely with, we, we I don't know if you were at the game, but there was big support in there, and I think that can definitely carry over to football, basketball, you name it. Buffalo's on the up and up. I, I can see them keeping going every single year from here on out. We made history. Let's keep it going. That first fan, Matt, said it perfectly. That exposure has certainly helped. A lot of national media coverage at the NCAA tournament. A lot of people talking about the UB Bulls. They were an upset. Remember, Barack Obama picked the UB Bulls in his bracket, so it could certainly spark into something for the program. And the women's team, not to be overshadowed, made their first ever trip to the women's NIT. They also lost to West Virginia, so I think it's uh, safe to say we don't really like West Virginia very much here in Buffalo, especially right Right now, but that party starts at right here, Alumni Arena, three o'clock. We'll have all that information on our website, wkbw.com. Andy, we'll send it back inside to you. I gotta say, Columbus these last couple days was like 60 degrees, so this cold needs to stop. When's it gonna warm up? Well, the warmth in Columbus is coming our way.